coming in. And, and so, I'm going to ask you, Reggie, with, with everything that you know and everything that you've experienced, do you take Dina to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish? Yes. Good. And do you, Dina, with everything that you know and everything that you've experienced, take Reggie to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? Yes. Good. We get to continue then. <laughs> When I think about the day I met you, I recall a little girl walking in with her mother behind her into room one of Nestle Avenue Elementary. I thought to myself, who is this little girl? Never did I imagine that we'd grow to be fast friends. I'm grateful that our friendship has remained constant and strong throughout a quarter of a century. Dina, as you begin this new chapter in your life, always know that I'm here for you no matter what. Now I know what I have found Reggie's a good friend, a mentor, a coach, and a personal trainer. As trainers in life, you know, when we join together, your goals become our goals. Dreams, aspirations, everything's joined together. So to a lifelong happiness, journey, prosperity, wealth, everything you can have, to Reggie and Dina, cheers. And here you are in this moment, surrounded by the people you love and those who love you, your family, your friends, the dearest people in your lives, surrounding you today in a spirit of joy and anticipation. Joy that the two of you have not just found each other, <laughs> and the frogs are even joining in. <laughs> in the celebration. It sounds good. Yeah, it's a good sound. Yeah, I like it. My sister, my best friend. I am both apprehensive and excited for this new chapter because though I know I can't come and sleep on your bed whenever I want anymore, I know it's for bigger and better things. And I also get to know a new friend and a brother in Reggie.
Dean and Reggie. This is an amazing moment. And I want you to take a second to savor it. Joy that the two of you have found each other, but more than that, have created this amazing love together. And also anticipation. Because in some ways, this is the celebration of what has come before. Everything that you did to create this relationship. But it's also a moment of anticipation. Anticipating everything that is yet to come for the two of you. All of the great moments, the joyous moments, all of the difficult moments, the hard moments. And so we anticipate everything that is yet to come for the two of you in this moment when we savor the celebration of your marriage. patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres.
in the presence of these witnesses, and in keeping with tradition, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. Dina and Reti, you are now husband and wife in the sight of God and all people. I'm going to ask the two of you to take a moment for a quiet reflection. First, to give thanks that the two of you have found each other and have created this love together and a prayer of hope that all people will come to know the kind of love that the two of you have come to know with each other. We pause for a moment of prayerful reflection. Put your hands together, everybody, one more time for our bride and groom. <laughs> one time, one time. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him picking a better woman <laughs> with as picky as he is with everything in life, including his food. Coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. You're my best friend, my sister, and tonight you are officially Mrs. Johnson. Now can everyone please raise their glass and let's toast to this beautiful newlywed. And remember to always keep your marriage spicy. Cheers. I think I want to marry you Is it the look in your eyes Or is it this dancing juice Who cares baby I think I want